What's going on guys, Billy here, and today marks the end of what I've been calling CES Hell Week, and what I want to do is sort of wrap everything up by going over what I think are the five greatest things that I saw from CES 2020 in the drone section. Now, I've been going for the past three years to the Consumer Electronics Show, and this year's CES 2020 is without a doubt the greatest showcase that we've had for drones. We got four brand new drones that I can think of off the top of my head from reputable manufacturers, whereas last year, CES 2019, the only brand new product that we got in terms of drones that was really worth talking about is the DJI smart controller. So to have four brand new drones is really exciting and it's going to be a lot to talk about. So let's just get into the video. So without a doubt, the greatest thing that was shown in the drone section at CS 2020 was the brand new Autel Evo 2. We got three different versions, the Autel Evo 2, the Autel Evo 2 Pro, as well as the Autel Evo 2 Dual. That is a little bit of a mouthful, but basically it is one single airframe. It is the Autel Evo 2 airframe. And then you've got three different cameras that can go on the front. You've got an 8K sensor, you've got a 6K sensor, and then you've got a dual sensor. One camera is an 8K sensor and it shoots RGB photos. And the other one is a thermal sensor, which shoots 640 images, which is just so great for a drone of this size. Again, this is without a doubt the greatest thing that was showcased at CES in terms of drone. So if you want to go ahead and check out my full video on that, I'll put a link down in the description. I'll also put one in the top right corner of this video as a card if you want to go ahead and check that out. But across the board, Autel really brought it this year with their Evo 2. Having one single drone that you can then swap three different cameras onto is so great. And all of these cameras are incredible, one of which shoots 8K video, the other of which shoots 20 megapixel uh, photos with the one inch sensor. And then also you can shoot 6K video with that. And they're also packed hacking like the performance of the X-T2, the DJI Zen Muse X-T2 into their FLIR sensor camera or their thermal camera, which can be put on a much smaller drone than the Matrice 210. I know a lot of people are probably not all that interested in thermal drones, but that is seriously incredible. Now, in terms of the other specs of this drone, 40 minutes of flight time, that is unprecedented. It is absolutely the longest flying drone in its class. Also, we've got like a top speed of 45 miles per hour. Okay, that's great. Great. And also the range is nine kilometers, which is great. And I can't wait to put this to the test because companies always like to say this is how far our drone goes but then sometimes it doesn't end up going that far. So I am interested to put that to the test and see if it actually goes the distance and how the interference is. So across the board, the Altel Evo is absolutely the greatest drone released at CES 2020. And man, I cannot wait to check it out because I think that the Mavic has finally been dethroned. Now, moving on to the next spot on my list here, we've got the X-Dynamics Evolve 2, which definitely, in my opinion, took the crown at this show for the best looking drone. This thing is just beautiful with the carbon fiber body, the magnesium underbody, and those futuristic blue lights around the motors. Everything just looks so great. And if you guys remember, back in April of 2019, I reviewed the first Evolve drone, and let's just say it missed the mark, but X Dynamics went back to the drawing board and with the Evolve 2, they're delivering a series competitor to DJI's Inspire lineup. Even though it might look like a Phantom drone, this is a DJI Inspire 2 competitor. And although the body still looks fairly the same from the Evolve 1 with a couple of minor changes, it looks more aerodynamic, it's more streamlined now, the specs that this drone packs for the $3,700 price tag is just incredible. It blows me away. And while this drone won't be for everybody, right? When we look at these specs, especially like the camera that shoots 4K video at 120 frames per second, it also shoots in ProRes. You begin to understand why this drone costs so much. Also, just the drone itself, the specs that it packs, like a 33 minute flight time, a 57 mile per hour top speed. There's just a lot to love about the Evolve 2. And it's something that I really can't wait to get my hands on. Now, coming in here at the number three spot on my list, List is a drone that I really didn't get a whole lot of hands on time with. In fact, I think they only had one of them there at the show and it was kind of like locked behind a cage. It is the Zero Zero Robotics V Falcon. Again, it's a drone that I really didn't get a lot of hands on time with and I don't know how viable this solution is going to be only having two motors on the drone. But the reason it made it here on my list is just because of how unique the idea is. So this drone, in my opinion, is like a one trick pony 
It's cool. It's unique that it has the two motors. I just looked on their website and they call it a tilt rotor design. So those rotors actually tilt in order to move the drone where you want it to go. But I don't even know what the top speed is. They don't advertise that on their website. Um, they say that you can go seven kilometers. You can shoot 4K video, all of which is up in the air, whether or not these specs are real and how it will actually perform in the real world. But the one thing it does really well is flight time. It can fly for 50 minutes. So because it doesn't have to spin four motors around and it only needs to spin two motors, it uses less power. This is something I'm not crazy excited about. It's not like I'm sitting on the edge of my seat in order to get this drone, but it's unique and it's kind of cool to see how this might shape the way that drones are built and made in the future. Uh, so I don't really have too much to say about this drone until I get hands on with it out in the real world and I actually see the drone fly. Moving on here to the next drone on my list is the PowerVision Power Egg X, which is a drone that's sort of like a camcorder if you want to use it like that, but then you can put the propellers and the arms onto the side and then make it fly. Oh, and also it's waterproof. You can fly it in the rain. You can land it on the water. And that is probably why I'm most excited about this drone. You know, I didn't even expect PowerVision to bring a brand new drone to CES. I was at the Alltel booth and when I spun around and saw that they were flying this drone through the water, I then knew that they had a brand new drone. So as you guys know, they make aquatic drones, submersible drones, other drones that kind of like I guess go across the water. So it's pretty cool that they're bringing their full entire product lineup full circle now that they've got a drone that's waterproof and it packs some pretty good specs, right? Uh, so we've got like a 44 mile an hour top speed. We've also got like a 4K 60 camera on there. But I think the one thing that I'm most excited to check out is the fact that this drone is waterproof. I'm actually looking forward to go out in the rain and fly this drone. Usually I'm waiting for like a sunny day. Uh, also, I'm excited to land this drone on the water and see how it does taking off on the water, landing on the water, and to see if it tips over. So there's a lot of really cool things to see with this drone. I think that this is going to start a brand new trend in the whole entire drone scene. They're gonna begin making waterproof drones and that's why I'm pretty excited. So just like the GoPro started out, you needed an external housing around the actual camera to make it waterproof. And with this brand new PowerVision drone, we do need a case as well to make it waterproof. Those motors are waterproof standalone. But I'm excited to see if companies like DJI or companies like Autel come out with a drone that is waterproof or water resistant and doesn't actually need this case. So if this drone isn't something that you're excited about, I do think you should be excited that in the future we could potentially see waterproof drones. Now the final thing that I want to talk about in this video is this brand new mount that Insta360 made for the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro. It holds a 360 camera within that mount and then it gives you 360 footage without showing any of the drone, which is really great, right? Because if you guys saw some reviews of like the Insta360 One X, you may have seen some people putting that camera onto a drone and mounting it. And yeah, it's cool that you get 360 footage and 360 photos to look at, but the drone is there literally within the frame. So positioning the camera on the top and positioning the camera on the bottom with this mount now gives you the ability to shoot photos and videos 360 photos and videos without seeing the drone, which is pretty cool. And in my opinion, it's not something, again, that I'm on the edge of my seat looking for, but it's a cool concept. And I'm excited to see how companies in the future make something like this work. You know, when I saw that Insta360 put up that teaser video where they blended a drone, an action camera, and a 360 camera, I was looking forward to them making an actual drone, but it's just a mount for the Mavic series. But it's something that's pretty cool. And I think that action cameras go hand in hand with with uh, drones and seeing this brand new Insta360 One R and kind of thinking about how it can be used on like FPV drones and maybe other drones in the future, especially in a method like this, putting a 360 camera mount on the drone is something that should be pretty cool. All right, so guys, that pretty much wraps up the coolest drone tech that I got to see while I was at CES 2020. I'm excited to get each and every single one of these things in hand and only time will tell when they finally begin selling and shipping. I think the two that I'm most excited for are the PowerVision drone to land it on the water and just see how that thing performs and also the all tell Evo because shooting 8K video is going to be beautiful. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of what you guys saw and what you guys may have seen covered at CES 2020. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.